This song, this song, this song was also written by Brother Nathaniel Pollard. Amen. Um, um, it's called "You're My Savior." You're my Savior. That is what it's for that guys give it voice Let's give him another round of applause yeah. Yeah. first time performing at the cafe and I thought it was very good I'm gonna have uh, JB Bradley come up and just uh, say a few words for you please so let's give yeah. JB uh, a round of applause give it out of the God you're the head of my life say 
Give him, give him the glory. Clap your hands and get up out of your seat. Come on and praise him, praise him high. Mm -hmm. Come on, give honor to God. Amen. Where two or three are gathered in his name, come on, his presence is yes. here. Can we give him a little more? I'm not saying. Cafe. Amen. And my question to them was, could Organo Grove be the official coffee of the Gospel Cafe? Right. And Sam said, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what I said is what I do. I said, pray about it. And I just thank and praise God that they have opened, <laughs> they've opened that door. Amen. And so that is why I am here. But more so to give God some praise. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank uh, JB for those words. And uh, matter of fact, uh, you know, do go up and, uh, and sample some of his coffee because this is the last time he will be here. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, well, we will we will continue on and uh, come up next um, is a gentleman who I, I absolutely love his voice as Amen. well, and and he is Eldon Willie Naylor. Let's give him a hand. Thank you, man. Thank you, Jesus. We certainly thank and praise God for another opportunity, man, to be at this venue, this place that we transform into a cathedral, a place where God is, with our, our, our worship and our praises, right? Because there was a time they would they would stop stop us we even walk through here when I was a young fellow, you know, they said, wait a minute, you, you, you can't come through here, you... Get on out of here. Amen. They used to run me out of here when I was back in 76, 75. But you know, I thank God for the prophetess, prophetess Hood being in the house. Holding this corner. Right. Right. I was speaking to her. Uh, I was yeah. speaking about her uh, with uh, my brother, Bishop Leonard Naylor. And he was just saying, you know, what a wonderful lady she That's is right. and how right. anointed she is with the historical facts and the, and the history of our our town and the various struggles that we have gone through um, not only from from the uh, diaspora or back in the Af uh, days of Africa but even to this very day and so and we also mentioned that uh, she has an anointing that comes from uh, your grandmother right uh, Mother Franklin which I believe is my spiritual grandmother All right. I, I went uh, to the service one time and she looked at me and said you, sh you should be doing a, a work for the Lord mm -hmm. but you know it took some time for me to come on around mm -hmm. but you know I'm not surprised at what uh, Sister Lawanda is doing down here you know because she comes from a great legacy you, so I thank God you know that we're standing on the shoulders of great legacy yes. like the late uh, Bishop Burks oh, yeah. oh, come on somebody yes. Young man, I used to see him, used to come by the, the cathedral from time to time and sing for us and shake a leg and do his thing. And I used to see him at various venues uh, singing and doing his thing for the Lord, right? So we're not surprised at what you're doing. Amen. And we think, uh, your sister Elaine's kid? You have to call it, son. Yeah, that, that's my aunt. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> she used to keep me in line over at the NES. So we're not surprised with y'all. Uh, doing what you're doing right now because worship is the art of translating thought into music that has a divine trajectory that transcends that transcends our our situations and our struggles and so forth and it moves us into an atmosphere of faith and love uh, our worship transcends the fear and doubt that tries to keep us bound and keeps us all jacked up and stuff you know, where we, we just question ourselves and doubt ourselves. And, you know, you got to go on through there. Yeah. 
Because I done came through some stuff. I've been singing for uh, about 15 years now. And I done sang through some harsh times. And the Lord began to deal with me about some things. I done came through various venues, you know, where they looked at me like I had two heads. You know, but then the Lord would just say, keep singing, keep singing. Because you got to sing past your haters in order to get, you know, to be able to sing to your congratulators. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Lord spoke one day and said, I'm going to take you out the storefronts and put you on the forefront. Right. I know somebody know what I'm talking about. All right. Amen. Because we, we, we don't serve a storefront uh, minded God. We serve a God, a cathedral minded God, yeah. a Amen. spacious, boundless, measureless God. Right? So here we, here we go. That's my cue. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's rock the house a little bit up in here. Mm -hmm. We need your spirit. Cover us with your grace. Fill us with your power, Lord, to help us to run this race. I've been waiting all day to come to this place to pour out my soul. Strong winds they may blow, but I 
found the answer Oh, and I, I will tell the world That I, I found the Savior And oh, oh, oh you sweet, I know Oh, 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 oh We need your sweet, sweet spirit Do you feel them in the room tonight? Do you feel his power? We need your sweet, sweet spirit, your sweet, sweet spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Play that book at that front. You was playing that last song. Thank you, Lord. Just I'm gonna sit down. Let me just. Y'all all right?
poem that I, I wanted to share with you guys, and, and, and God definitely gave me the inspiration for this because the, the word play, uh, it, it's only divine intervention how that can come. Um, the title of this poem is actually, you know, in light of Mother's Day and all the women and all the women that have influenced my life and have been great uh, in terms of helping me to get where I am today, um, I dedicate this to all of them. Amen. It's called Nubian slash Nubian Queen. Right. You guys get it? All right. All right. All right. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. She was born of her mother's womb, ushered into this world reflecting the image of her ancestors and her genetic code. A vessel containing the histories and unique qualities of her family unit, manifested and reincarnated through her features for all to behold. A body composed of cells and atoms woven together to create a masterpiece of beauty, grace, and elegance that only the master can piece together. A Nubian queen, born to be a light in the midst of darkness, a vessel shaped and fashioned out of the best soil in the garden, a voice destined to change the world one note at a time, singing songs of hope and triumph gracefully line by line. A dreamer and warrior, born again to reflect his image and likeness, spread the good news of the gospel and help others reach their potential. She's more than what meets the eye, more than a conqueror and special in God's eyes. She's a mother, a daughter, a sister, and a wife with many gifts and talents housed on the inside. The world has yet to behold the splendor of her life because she glows more and more as she draws closer to the light. This new being queen is indeed a new being, a new creation who is more than what you see. She's been handpicked by God to do a mighty work in the land and fulfill his will and divine plan. She's on a mission to be all he created her to be, see all he created her to see, and do, do all he created her to do. Today we celebrate all of the women and all of the mothers, all of the daughters, all of the sisters that have done a mighty work to bring forth life into this universe. All women are a magnificent work of art. They're all simply one of a kind. Woo.